halftime in case you missed it. Coach Lock is back with another edition in case you missed it. Let's hear it, Coach. All right, fellas, we're going to talk a little high school basketball this time. Beginning with the 2022-23 season, a 35-second shot clock will be permitted in high school basketball games by the State Association Adoption. Now, proposal for a national rule mandating the shot clock was approved. The new shot clock rules discussed by the National Federation of State High School Association's Basketball Rules Committee at its annual meeting in April, and the recommendations were subsequently approved by the NFHS Board of Directors. So what does that rule say? Rule 2-14 states that each state association may adopt a shot clock beginning in the 2022-23 season, according to guidelines outlined in basketball rules book. Now, to encourage standardization among stakes, guidelines include displaying two timepieces that are connected to a horn that is distinctive from the game clock horn and using an alternative timing device such as a stopwatch at the scores table for a shot clock malfunction. Now, the guidelines also allow for corrections to the shot clock only during the shot clock period in which an error occurred and the officials have definite information relative to the mistake or malfunction. So my question for you guys, is this good that states are finally going to be able to include a shot clock in high school's basketball? Long overdue. Long overdue. This is something that had to happen. It makes the the game transition to the college game a lot easier. It makes you get into your sets a lot faster and actually you know, complete plays, work on plays. It was just bad basketball being played across the United States. In high school, man, I think it was necessary and long, long overdue. I'm super excited, but I had no clue about this because I definitely missed it. I appreciate this, Coach. Mm -hmm. Jay said, great, uh, long overdue. Takes away that last two or three minutes if the team is up five or playing keep away. You know how they do. <laughs> it takes that away sometimes. And, man, that, that, was just, that was a bad watch as bad as a, as a, you know, as a consumer. And then also, if we're being honest, the, t the kids have gotten better. The game has progressed to where they can handle a shot clock at that at that age. They can do it. It's not a problem. So I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. Also, the only thing is, I think the shot clock should be a little longer. Then this is why. Hear me out. You're talking about high school sports, and like you mentioned, Jeff, they have gotten better. But if you go as a whole around the nation. Think about how fast 35 seconds is for a high school team. You press a team and it takes them eight seconds to get across the half court. Now you're down to, what, 26 seconds. So now you got to get in your play and run and execute within that 26 seconds, which you're dealing with high school kids. Now, your, your teams that are really efficient, have really good basketball players, it won't take nothing for them. But I think they should just extend this to maybe 40, 40 to 45 seconds to give those kids a little time to run those plays. Now, your teams that are running, running and going down the court, doesn't matter for those guys. But just playing devil's advocate and thinking about those teams that actually have to run the plays to get involved, they're going to suffer the most from this. But I still think this shot clock is needed for sure. I think it's just progress. I think it's progress. I think it's one of those things that they go with a 35-second shot clock and they're like, eh, let's just push that thing up to 40. It's easier to push it up then go into a situation with no shot clock. So give me something rather than nothing for sure. sure. And make them coaches that, not you coach, but the coaches who just sitting on the sideline not doing nothing, just up and coach these kids mm -hmm. and help them do better in high school. So learn how to beat the press and how to how to beat the zone and things like that instead of just giving the ball to Will and see everybody get out of the way and build their offense. Mm -hmm. So I know, sure. Yeah, yeah, go to hell ball. Let's go to yeah. hell ball. Uh, it's all yeah. it is. It's, it's terrible <laughs> to, to wake up and see a score where they say, yeah, it was only four point score in the second half because they sat on the ball the whole time. Come yeah. on, you're not helping the kids with that. Hell no, nah. ain't nobody getting no scholarships that way. Right. right. Mm -hmm. 